So, while that's going, hopefully I don't burn it. The trick to this is that I've done this before and it's so hard to keep that bacon on the, wrapped around the hot dog. So let's just hope that does stick. In the meantime, I just saw in the description, watermelon salad. I don't know if you guys tried this or heard of it, but I love having this during um, usually the summertime, but today I figured it'd be great to match it with something super salty. I think it, it counters that saltiness with the watermelon's sweetness and all the other ingredients that actually go in it. So I want to assemble that with you actually right now. So these are just a few things that go in there. Let me move this over. All right, so you see the one? Oh, shit. My dog's underneath me. I just stepped on her. Let me get up. Okay, as you can see here. There you go, delicious watermelon. Okay, what should I put first? So this ingredient actually calls for... I'll put onions first. So these onions, I put them in, uh, in an ice bath, actually, just so that it's not as potent. A lot of times onions, if you cut them and you don't really do anything with them or cut them fresh, they're really, really strong and it's kind of spicy. So I wanted to make sure they weren't that spicy. Next, these are here are little mint leaves. Actually, I think this is the best part of the salad. It actually, it's the part that makes it so refreshing. And then here I have feta cheese. Very simple, you can find that anywhere. So I've made the salad before for my friends and they, I mean, they would have never thought that you can actually make something with watermelon. Here I have some olive oil. Just drizzle a little bit. The whole thing. Oh, that smells so freaking good. Chairs in my way. If only you can smell this right now. See, look, it always somehow manages to fall off. Okay, now that's still going. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Oh shit, that was a lot of salt. Oops. So I added some salt to the watermelon. Hopefully that's not too bad. Some black pepper on that. And I have just a little bit of that. It is the red wine vinegar, so we'll just put, circle it around. All right, now it's ready for mixing. That looks so good. Actually, it's, it's a nice day out today. So this is actually quite perfect. Wow. I mean, it's gonna be one of those things that can change your life if you ever freaking tried it. Put like that. Wow, I'm actually doing a lunchtime mukbang. If you believe it, it's like, um, it's 2.36 right now. I never do afternoon mukbangs, but um, I figured I might as well just uh, make something for lunch. Uh, this is not a normal lunch. We don't eat hot dogs every damn day, but um, yeah, I figured I'd try something new. Um, usually I do my mukbangs at night, but... I wanted to definitely try another day part. And today I have a day off from work, so I figured 
well, I had school this morning, but um, it's still technically a day off. So I think I would, you know, want to try something new, which is lunch. So uh, what I have here, if you can uh, obviously see up uh, above the video, I've titled it uh, hot dogs or bacon wrapped hot dogs and watermelon salad. I'll explain this later. Uh, a lot of people may be confused why, as to why there would be a watermelon salad, but I mean, if you've tried it before, it's absolutely fantastic. It's so refreshing. I think it's perfect when you're eating it with something salty, like bacon wrapped hot dogs. And uh, it works, it just works perfectly well with each other. I've had this before, especially during the summertime when we love to grill. Um, we like to have this as a side as well. But let me show you what items I have today. So first I'll show you this guy here. So you can see it's smothered in onions, but I have that bacon wrapped hot dog. You can barely see the bacon, but it's there. See that? That's the bacon. It's super oily, looks amazing. And I'll put some ketchup and mustard on top. I actually, um, did a mayonnaise spread before I put the the hot dogs in there. You didn't see that, but there's mayonnaise in there as well. I mean, if you want something to change your life, this is it here. It's super easy to make. And it's just so delicious. You... You don't have to add onions if you don't like onions. You don't even have to add the mint if you don't like mint. But I think the most important ingredient here is the vinegar because I feel like it pulls out that sweetness from the watermelon. And it's just excellent. Mmm, really good. Let's start off with a hot dog. Do you see my coffee? I have this guy every single day. It's not the iced coffee, I actually ordered the cold brew. And um, it's, it's a little bit stronger than the iced coffee. It has more caffeine. Um, actually, some Starbucks locations wouldn't let me, because they add water to dilute it but I actually don't want it diluted. I want it full caffeinated. Um, and I believe it's so highly caffeinated that they don't allow it when you request no water. So I don't want any water added to my coffee. I just want it straight up poured in there and then maybe thrown in ad shot sometimes, but this gets me going. Without this, I'm a fucking psycho bitch. You don't want to see that part of me. Yes, I can be that, that person. Um, I was gonna say too, before I start eating, is that I didn't mention this before, but I actually worked at Starbucks for 10 years. Believe it, 10 years. I started when I was 16 and a half, 17, and I left Starbucks at the age of 27. So that's when I started uh, my current job today but I was in a uh, manage management position. So, you know, I got up there, but it, it was a good experience, but I just could not believe how, I mean, they did not pay me well at all. Now that I think about it, it makes me kind of angry. Um, but yeah, 10 years. And before that, let me start eating and I'll tell you my life story. So before that, before working for Starbucks, I was so desperate for a job because my mom never gave me an allowance. Oh shit. That sounds like poop. Farting. Sorry. Um, here is that delicious hot dog. So good. Mmm. Mmm. Where are my paper towels? Oops. Only one damn paper towel. 
What am I supposed to do? I'm gonna lick my fingers. This is so good. <laughs> Come on, Sana, this is so good, so good, so good. I like have no other words to use, but. Life changing. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's funny that people that hate mustard, they don't mind it on their hot dogs. Is that true? I prefer it on my hot dogs. Mm. I kind of like doing this during the day. Because a lot of times, when it's dinner time, I'm I just get so exhausted. Like sometimes you can see I watch my videos. I have bags under my eyes just because. Just because, like, I've already done so many things during the day. It's either the gym with work or gym with school or just running errands. And I mentioned in my other video where I struggle with sleep apnea. So that affects my energy level during the day as well. So if I do look tired, please, you know why. Life's a challenge for me. Or it's a challenge to stay awake. Mm. I need freaking paper towels. Kuma. Hmm. I have my Pomeranian underneath me. She's so cute. So I wanted to tell you, um, let's finish off the first thing I talked about, which was my job. So I was at Starbucks for 10 years. Now that was around 17 years old. And, um, but before that, actually, I worked at this uh, this random spot that someone got me a job at. Um, uh, well, the, the purpose behind it was uh, to sell vacuum cleaners. Um, and I didn't really know what I was signing myself up for. Now that I think about it, it was some sketchy ass damn business that was getting us to sell their product door to door. Excuse me. So what it was is that they would, um, in the morning, they would get us in a van. They would drive us into pretty decent neighborhoods, middle class, maybe a little bit higher than that. And they would have us go door to door and try to sell uh, this vacuum cleaner. And I mean, I'm not lugging around a big vacuum cleaner, but I'm talking about it and I'm offering a service in their home. I mean, now that I think about it, it's just kind of crazy that I did that. I literally knocked every single door, got rejected every single time. And at that moment, at that time, I was just, I was just desperate for money. I didn't get an allowance from my parents. I, there was no other way for me to get money so that I can go out with my friends, maybe watch a movie, you know, um, 
spend money on food with him, you know, whatever the case, I needed money, so. And I didn't like asking for money, I never did, so. Yeah, and that's what I did, and I remember just being out so late. I would start at 8 a.m., we would meet at this building, and then they would uh, get us into the van, and then we would drive to a neighborhood. They'd drop us off literally all day, and at that time, we didn't have cell phones. I did not have a cell phone on me. So I was left there until probably 8 p.m., and I'm not even getting paid by the hour. I'm literally only getting paid if I, if I sell a vacuum cleaner. And only a percentage of that sale, too. So I did that for a whole entire week. Did I get a dollar out of it? Not one dollar. Coming back to it, I thought, wait, isn't this some le illegal, crazy shit? But I don't know. I didn't care at that time just because I was so young and I wanted so much, but I didn't have the money to, to get it. So I had, I wanted to do anything, just anything. So that was my first job kind of strange now that I think about it, but I think that, I think that it's, it was important for me to experience that so that, you know, now today I know what it means to make money and what it, how valuable that is to put the work in and to really, I don't know, I think I was raised pretty well. Um, and I kind of, th I'm glad that my mom didn't give me any money, you know, it made me work harder. Um, I strive for more. I put more energy into to my life. And I'm very thankful about the things I buy, you know. I may spend a lot of money on my shoes, sorry, but I think at the end of the day, it's totally worth it. Whatever you spend on, what, how much ever you spend on it, um, as long as it's your interest and it makes you happy and you work hard for it, I say go for it. It just feels better, you know. But anyways, vacuum cleaner salesman, that was me. But Starbucks was great. 10 years, could you believe it? <sighs> anyways, back to my food. Hmm. And on to the subject of my mom. She's been calling me every single day. Asking if I filed my tax return yet. So Americans, my American viewers, did you file your taxes yet? Did you procrastinate like me? Because it's fucking due on the 18th. And it's the 12th. Bless her heart, but she fucking calls me every day about it. Which is good because I did forget, and I'm, I'm, uh, I forgot today as well until I got home. I leave these little notes on my monitor so that I would remember, but I never remember. I never do. I never look at my monitor. I'm looking at directly at the screen. Ugh. I just, I can't stand that noise, that squirting noise. Hmm. Oh my God. Speaking of the devil, she just, my mom just called me. I'm telling you. She's like on my back constantly, which is good. I love my mom, but my mom is a racist. Hmm, she was. She was really bad actually back in the day. Today she's better just because she's had more exposure but she is I mean I still like her. I like my mom of course I love her but there was this one time I think I was like 20 20? I was still living at home I didn't move out yet 
and she she was home at that time I knew it I was with my friend he I told him that I needed to pick something up from my house so he drove me there we both went inside I told him to stay in my room um, just to wait for me um, while I was grabbing something I go to the kitchen and knowing my mom, she's super sneaky. She'll, she'll try to see who's here, you know, because she heard something. And growing up, even as a child, she never let me hang out with my friends. She never let me go to my friend's house or anybody, uh, or people weren't invited over as well. So she just wasn't very friendly. Um, that's just who she is. But anyway, he was waiting inside the room. And obviously, she's sneaking up and she sees him. And then she, she walks up to me in the kitchen. She goes, in our language, Vietnamese, she goes, why is there a black man in the house? And I was like, wait, what? Like, I was like, why does that matter? And then she was like, no, no, he cannot be here. He cannot be here. And I, I mean, I was shocked. I, it was so disappointing because you know, your mom is someone you look up to, someone you respect, and that moment, I just couldn't believe it. I was so shocked. I was so I was disgusted, actually. So what I, so when she said that, I said, "What are you talking about? Whatever, I'm going," because I was already on my way out anyway. I was just, he was just waiting for me to grab whatever I needed. And then on the way out into the car, I told him, you know, I said, oh, "My mom, you know, she said this. I wanted to tell him," and he's like. He said the most surprising thing to me. He, he said, oh, I'm used to it. I said, what? He's like, no, I've already experienced it with other moms when I'm at their house. And I said, are you kidding me? I couldn't fucking believe it. Could not believe it. And this is not just black people, this is Mexicans. This is white people. It's like she likes anything that she's not familiar with, she's going to react that way. Which I honestly believe that's coming from fear, that's coming from ignorance, that's coming from not having experienced that. You know, she's coming from a completely different country into the United States, the melting pot, um, especially here in Los Angeles, Orange County. Um, so yeah, she does lack that experience. And I mean, I try my best to understand and to see where she's coming from, but it's just hard for me, especially, I don't see it like that. You know, I was lucky enough to be born um, in an area where there's just so many different types of people. I don't know anything else. This is what I know, and I've come to be the person that I am today. So I do try to understand where she's coming from, coming from a completely different country, but man, it's taken a long, her, a long time for her to adapt, you know, especially in this culture, this lifestyle, but not okay. But I think she's better today just because um, a lot of my cousins and all that stuff were uh, were dating different people. I'm in an, an inter interracial relationship, um, but yeah, I think she's more open-minded in general. I just think that over time, you need to have that experience. You need to see it. You need to feel it, you know, and I think that's when you'll really understand, but I'll give her time. I think... Five years from now, she'll be okay. I think she'll she'll let it go. But I just thought it was so shocking that she said that. I still remember it like it was yesterday because it did affect me. It's too serious.
Mm. I'm probably not going to eat this last one. But I wanted to... kind of sum up this video by just saying a few things. So if you haven't noticed, the audio is probably better on the video. Also, the actual video quality is probably better because I'm using the Canon 70D right now, which is the camera that I was waiting on. Uh, and it took me so long to put it all together. Um, a lot of times I like to think that I'm tech savvy, but I'm not. I, I'm the type of person to plug something in and if it does not work, I give the fuck up. Like I'm over it. Like I don't even want to try. Maybe until the next day. But that's why it took me so long in that period before I went to Japan to set up this video. I was adjusting the volume. I mean, there's a mic up here. And then I was trying to work on... Uh, the best type of lighting here, because there are, I have two umbrellas shining at me. It's just a lot of fucking work. You see the food, but you don't see the production that goes behind it. It's just mind-boggling. That's why I probably that's probably why I look so fucking tired as well. Um, but I hope you noticed the quality. Um, I'm definitely working on it. I think this is probably the best at this moment, so we'll keep it going. But anyways. I was happy to have lunch with you. Um, I will see you probably the end of this week. All right? I'll see you later. Bye.